I basically have my first announcement for me. Uh, uh, you guys probably already heard from Discord, but I lost my job. I'm not going to go into great te- detail of why they let me go. Shit reasons, I heard. Yeah. <sighs> Good thing is, employment is pre-approving me so far. And I am going into a CNA program starting Monday to get into something other than retail. And I don't know how this is going to affect D&D recordings or anything else. So stay tuned. Yep. I apologize. Yeah. Regardless how it happens, we'll work something out. Yeah. You'll just have to keep me informed. I'll just have to, you know, you know, make things happen. Yeah. I don't know what my future work schedules are going to be like, but just let you guys know, I'm yep. still going to be here the best I can. If I can't, I'll let you guys know. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Redwall, Legends of Redwall, which is his full title, but we just call it Legends of Redwall. Um, What do you mean, hush? I know I mess it up all the time, okay? (laughs) No, 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 no. You didn't mess up at all, actually. It's just, it's better to call it Legends of Redwall instead of Redwall, Legends of Redwall. It's just a lot better. Anyway, anyway, so... Last time we left our group, guys did some important shopping. You entered a raffle that turned out to be a hoax, thanks to the very attentive eyes of Opolis. Um, She did pay a temporary price for her attentiveness in the form of her getting shanked by a stoat or a weasel, should I say. A dead man. Yep, a very, very, very dead creature. Because after seeing, um, he's not sure what to call her at this point, but after seeing her injured, Clooney went into a rampage and actually tore him limb from limb. And then also went so far as to tear from the root one of the weasel's tails. After which, uh, he took her up in his arms and covered him covered her in his cloak his personal cloak that's where we ended the session last time where we're gonna pick up now so as we come back on the scene Looney is currently carrying a pulse back to redwall abbey uh all the while is he done yet all the while um everybody had rushed everyone else inside because of the rampaging pirate rat. Uh, Vince, you're still in the doorway from what I have in my notes. And yeah, he is like looking outside like, is he done yet? <laughs> yep. He passes by you with Opalus in his arms. Raise eyebrows. Gives a wink to the camera. <laughs> Lovely fourth wall break there. <laughs> uh, can I uh, try something? Yeah, sure. What? Okay, so the... What were they? Ferret? Like, not ferrets. They were, they were stouts, right? The stouts? Um, they were weasels. Weasels, okay. Weasel. Weasels. Uh, their equipment or whatever is still left behind, right? We made them this harm, yes. And currently it is under guard in the uh, gatehouse right down here. Okay, did we ever find out, like, that little, like, what was it? Like, the armor inside the box or whatever? Or the sword? What is a sword or armor? It was, it was a weapon. weapon. I didn't mention what kind of weapon it Rip was. Beer. Right. They they called ah, it. Like, she caught it. I'm glad you're getting onto it. Uh yeah, I'm because it was the only weapon I actually can use. <laughs> yeah, the only the only thing I remember from the weapon was. It was yes, called. it was a very shiny rapier. Just so you guys know out there who are watching this, 
I like to test my players every so often with knowledge by saying that I really don't know what's going on or like I'm faking or giving them false information, you know, stuff like that to test their knowledge, see if they're actually taking notes. Or we brought you. So was the weapon itself a sham too, or was it actually real? We don't know. Oh yes, it was actually a rapier, but you don't really know. It's currently under guard in the gatehouse. Oh, they just took everything to the gatehouse? Oh, everything that had to do with the entire thing. They even took the freaking, like, soapbox that he was standing on. Hey, it might belong to someone else. It would have been nice to rummage through that before they did that. Oh, well. We'll have plenty of time. Well, seeing that that's already been taken care of, uh, Ghost will attempt to go see where it was, uh, who was it? Who was the one who took all the prisoners? Or at least our new conscripts? Ah, uh, Dark Claw. Dark Claw. Uh, yeah, Clooney's right hand man. All right. A ghost is going to attempt to go search for Dark Claw to see how our new conscripts are doing. All right. Uh, oh, you head out. The young one. <laughs> yeah. The, you head outside and you notice that Dark Claw is already in like commander mode with these new creatures underneath his wing. I might be getting this horribly wrong. Hold on. I wrote down stoats, but for some other reason that uh, like I wrote down weasels, but it doesn't sound right to me. Hold on. I believe there were stoats there in the weasel family. Yeah, I need to double check something. Um, sorry, it's it's, it's that it's been that long of a week. And unfortunately, with my notes, I might or might not have dropped a little bit of um, water on it. Oh, no. On accident. They were all stoked. Sabotaged. Look, it was a long week, dudes. It was a long, long week. Uh, okay. I agree with that. Okay. Anyway, so, stoats. Sorry for that confusion, guys. Sometimes the DM does make mistakes. I'm not perfect. We're all humans. Yep. Uh, you I'm see Dark Claw. You see Dark Claw is currently training these stoats and these like he is treating them like gladiators in a ludus. He is torturing these poor things. All right. He's forcing them to like pick up large raw uh, like logs twice their own size. Each time he cracks the whip, they have to like drop it, pick it back up like fall to the ground like it's a whole routine it is pure unadulterated torture all right so i shall approach dark claw and he say so how useful do you think they can be well once i toughen their flabby guts up they'll be quite useful all right so i begin to count like count them Goats are notoriously tough we can use them as fodder if the Spiders ever decide to get outside of their little borders. I seem to have the same idea, but for a different re for a different target. I count them, and I notice that we have one missing. Did you kill one already? No. If you're talking about the child, the mouse, tiny mouse creature, and the large fox creature, they took him inside. Bitch, I, that is why? a fucking lie. That's what he thinks happens. <laughs> oh, okay. Carry on, then. Can I ask why, I say? I have no idea. Look, I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to make sure that Clooney wasn't going to do anything. Well, we already lost so many men. We we needed the right supply. That's what my thoughts, too. I'm going to go look for that little tyke. All right. Will you have fun? Boy, get off your bum! Whoops. All right, so I will you go back to, pain. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I will go back to the uh, where every I will go where everyone went to go see if I could find that boy. Boy, 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 boy. Um, as you enter into the gates, you notice that everyone seems to have recovered from what happened with this ordeal, and business is starting to resume. But it's like more of a cautionary like thing. People aren't shouting their goods. They're more like um, whispering. Get, get, get your goods over here. 
they're just hoping that the giant rat that just went absolutely insane in the courtyard doesn't notice them. Or come back. You'll find more cheer in a graveyard. Everything good, Vince? Yeah, I was just typing that out so I could tell Roll20 to stop being stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. I don't know. All right, so... If you're um, wondering, right now it's like, I'm still loading. Ah. Oh, well. So yeah, I'm going to still be searching for the boy. And I guess since I know that the mouse and the fox are my culprits right now, I'll be looking for them too. All right. Well, since his roll 20 is being issued, um, uh, you find uh, Sunflower is currently uh, minding her own business, currently eating some much needed breakfast. All right. I shall approach Sunflower and say, hey, little mouse. Hi. You have a name. Did you forget my name? Not important right now. <laughs> the stoat boy. Where is he? Why? He's not where he's supposed to be. He is innocent compared to those brutes. It's not how I see it. Oh, yes. I'm sure that boy is going to hurt somebody with a twig. He didn't have anything else on him. You can poke someone down with a twig. Dippin, who happens to be just passing by pipes up. Yes. I'm possibly the one echoing. Give me a sec. But the Dibbon is a rabbit, right? Or is it a... Dibbons are little children. Doesn't matter what race. Okay. Am I still echoing? No. Testing? Testing? Is it me? I don't know. Let me check. Well, I can't tell because okay. no one's... Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yep. Is yep. it me? Is it me? No, no, no. No, it was, it was me. I had to unplug him, basically. Um, uh, do the old NES trick by blowing into the porthole and basically cleaning it out and replugging it in. Your laptop is so old. Oh, no, that's just the plug-in for the microphone. You shouldn't be doing that for a microphone. Uh, you oh. may want to clean it. Get some pressurized air and spray it in there. That might actually help it. I wish I could afford something like that. Anyway. Okay. Um, so, so I will respond to what she told me by saying, you'll be very surprised how dangerous a child can be. But that's not here or there. Where is he? What are you going to do with him? You want to take him where he's supposed to be. Which is? With the other stouts. Heck no. They're bad influence. And what? You don't I'm think we can't put him, put him into shape? Uh, not with those group of rats? No. Redwall is a perfect place to mold younglings into profitable animals. Not into... Killers. <laughs> okay. Give me a stealth roll with advantage because she's not paying attention to you. What's going on? Vince is trying to sneak away. Vince is. Yep. I hope you succeed, Vince. <laughs> sneak away with today. you. Yes. <laughs> Why was it on advantage? I'm gonna click. Oh, whoops! I turn it to normal. I'm gonna roll again just in case. Uh, it's fine. My passive better. is under that, so you're good. Yeah, you're not paying Still, attention. I don't know. Oh, so twenty-two. Oh, I got a little better. better. Um, your Vince, Ninja Vince. Yo, man, when, away. <laughs> when you need to go get that, get that kush. <laughs> um, none to your awareness while you are discussing this with ghosts. Your brother manages to pass uh, to sneak away without your knowledge. She takes a bite for breakfast. Anyhow, right. he's with constant, and no one will disappoint. I mean, no one to get by constant. Anyhow, so. Leave the boy alone. Uh, can I check inside if she's telling the truth? Yeah, sure. <laughs> she is telling the absolute truth for you. I mean, yeah, this whoever this Constance is, very dangerous. I see him probably squint his eyes uh, at me, so i will probably say, if you feel better, I'll go check on him myself after breath. Hey, mister! Little mouse boy is tugging at, uh, uh, like, tugging at your fur at the bottom of your feet. I look down. You're looking for tough people to be part of your friends, right? Oh, no. It, it's a mouse, right? Yeah. Okay. Listen, baby mouse, I'm not here to play games. No, 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 no game. No game. Um, um, mm, mm, um, hey, I, uh, he, he struggles to find the words and he is like, um, what? Cave, um, cave. Just west, east, west, west. I don't remember what it's okay, called. Okay, okay. It's well, near, near big hills. Okay, so I'm, I'm interrupting the mouse. Like, I don't want to like, like deal with it. Like, I'll, I'll agree to follow. Big, him. mighty, tough people. 
Would I know right, such fine, cave? Fine, I'll, I'll follow you if you just shut up. I can't go outside because my mama is here. You're not allowed to both go out the wall either. Which, how do you know this information? Can I, can I, a ghost, can I get uh, another insight check to try to determine what this child is trying to say? All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> eh. Ooh, 11. Uh, you would not- know that from your times as a mercenary, um, there is a mountain range um, west of Redwall Abbey that includes the mighty mountain Salomon Bastron. But there is like a, a cave system that um, a, um, some former mercenary turned bandit make their home. Mm. And the mu- little boy mouse seems to be talking about that. But practically a bandit cave. He's just talking about bandit cave. Yeah, but he doesn't know the word bandit, so, so he, he just know. thinks they're mighty, mighty, mighty fighter people. <laughs> Band-Aids, yeah. Yeah, a bunch of Band-Aids over there. I um, do need some patching up. <laughs> then I suggest you go back to your mother, little boy. Okay. He starts running the opposite direction with his hands in the air, and you just see a, a larger mouse, like, sweep him up in her arms and then cuddle him, shoots you a glare, and then walks off. I glance over at Sunflower and say, fine, little mouse, I'll let it be. I begin to take a few steps, but before I leave, I say, for the record, not all of us are murderers. I know. My brother is not one, right? And she turns her head and sees him. He's gone. Where did he go? There's just, a, there's just an outline from where he had been standing. Blink, just blink. a flashing little outline. <laughs> just, she's just gone. Dana. Ninja Vince. Uh, Seeing that this is the end of the conversation, I shall return to the uh, to Clooney's camp to begin uh, uh, attempting to prepare for the uh, assault. The Iders. Uh, yep. Against the tiger. Yep. Uh, Vince, you're out to find your find winter. Tiptoe through the snow to go see. Can I get an investigation check to try to find her? Investigation? Okay. Not inside. Investigate. There we go. Boop. Oh, oh no. no! Jesus Christ, Manetli! Oh, so busy thinking about. Sir, you right. Disappearing he's, on he's, your sister. You you are fantasizing right now about a very steamy rendezvous with this individual. And you proceed as you're fantasizing, proceed to run face first into a stall. Shake my head. You see the mouse. What stall did I run? Do you mind? Oh, sorry. <laughs> my head was uh, somewhere else right now. Oh, I could tell. What you looking for, laddie? I, I'm looking for winter. Because I kind of have almost a blushing face. Oh, so that's how it is. She's just outside the walls, Lattie, but forewarning, be on your best behavior. Don't worry, I'm always well behaved. <laughs> as you hear uh, as you hear a loud laughter from the clouds. I look around, who's laughing at me? <laughs> no, it's just me and uh, like God in the clouds laughing at you. <laughs> Well behaved, my ass. <laughs> Actually, my character is always polite and respectful. <laughs> boys will be boys. That's you head out along with. Uh, you see, Ghost has already exited, and he's making his way towards Clooney's camp off of the side of the walls. I am not worried about him. Uh, you see that uh, across the road. Um, you see, Winter is currently in a cloak. And winter booties and gloves. Styling and profiling. Um, currently speaking to two individuals currently completely cloaked. Mysterious. He seems to be explaining something, like describing something, as it were. Oh, hang on, I'm going to go phone call. Damn All right, I'll get back to you. Ahem, Hollis. Shit, yep, yep. I'm here. Bloody. Who is carrying you inside brings you the entire way up the stairs into the infirmary where Constance is currently looking after. Watches OC. What is OC? I meant to be 
put out character. There's no oh. edit button. Ah, okay. Got it. Hello? Hi. Anyway, um, so basically... Um, I can hear you. Yeah. Basically, um... Sorry. Give uh, the fuck out of the phone. Give me a second. Do you mind? Uh, so, um, he carries you in the double doors, and Constance is currently tending to the clearly... Hey, I'm back. Sorry. Starved child teen stout who is looking at all the dibbons in a very timid way because um all of them are watching him very intently for him to make any wrong moves most of them do not have their sticks anymore they only have pillows in their hands <laughs> peach who was sitting on top of this boy's like um like lap notices you come in instantly climbs down runs over as Clooney places you in the hospital bed thank you Clooney are you okay i'm okay sweetie okay are you I'm sure sure i'm sure just need to heal up a little bit okay are Clooney, you positive are you? that you're sure I just pinch her cheek slightly. Yes, I'm fine, Peach. Okay. Clooney, are you okay? No words come out of his mouth. He doesn't even do his usual. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm okay because of you. I'm gonna say the cheesiest shit known to uh fuck. You're my hero, Clooney. Hello? <laughs> oh no. I'm echoing again. Hello? Got real technical difficulties today. Yeah, when the police was saying those things, it was echoing again, and it was well, cheesy I had a times too. <laughs> I also had a phone call, and that's when my technical difficulty started. Oh. Mess with Discord. So, he doesn't seem to respond to what you say. However, you see him look up to Constance, and Constance is watching him like a hawk. He opens his mouth, men to her wounds, and he opens the door and closes it behind. Well, that was an experience. Is everyone okay? All the kids. Yeah. How about you, sweetie? I, I get up off of the, um, the bed and go over to him. Are you okay? You just hear, like, a very loud, very sloppy gulping noises as he is currently finishing off his third bowl of stew. And you just see, uh, clacks down to the floor, and he's like, your husband is scary. He's, um, we're not, he's not my, I'm not, um, we're not married. Oh, your lover is scary. What's a lover? Um, All the kids go. <laughs> Constance. Lover means when you get older. Oh, like when babies are made. Yes, that's right, kids. You're all going to be the death of me. But don't um, worry, we're going to take good care of you here. I'm sorry. I, I literally had no choice. The, the one that, well, I, I, I guess he's your friend. Yep. He, he was the only close relative I had left. He was my cousin. Unfortunately, my my other family died uh, during an attack. Um, they were part of a mercenary group that were adventuring out, and they got attacked by Asmodeus. Unfortunately, they did not make it, but apparently one member of their troop did make it out, but... I don't know where they are. I'm so sorry, sweetie. It's fine. Well, my name's Apollos. What's your name? I never had one. Unfortunately, I was just a newborn when I was found. His voice is trembling, <laughs> not crying. Did your um, my, did your partners um, not give you a name? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. Um, <clears throat> they called me. Rat face. Okay, now that's just not nice. Well, maybe we can give you a name. Fuck up! I'm gonna kick your goddamn ass if you name him that. I swear to God. At least Timothy. Jeez, that's not a bad name. 
This is a fantasy world. I doubt they have yeah. anybody named Timothy. Or Billy Bob, for that fucking matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, they have quite a few people named Timothy. That's just scary. I mean, you could also have the name just Billy or Bob or even nope. Finnegan. Nope. Those are like the hobos of the South. <laughs> not even the sh not even get uh, the Gozum Shrews are named after that. Really? Wow. Oh yeah. Ghost boy. <laughs> and they are the most hillbilly you will ever fucking meet. What about the frogs? Would have been more hillbilly. No, no. Uh, actually, they're more they're more like Arabic than anything in this world. I was thinking oh. tribal. Cletus. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. Let her finish her story, so hush. Uh, um, well, there was this one name that um, we didn't have for long, but there was a female stoat amongst us who adventured uh, with us very shortly, and she left us quite some time ago. She called me by a very peculiar name that just stuck with me. What is it? Well, she... She called me by what I was able to do. Um, I tend to mess with things. She, she called me. She called me Gidget, like fidgeting, but with. Well, if your name's Gid, uh, if if you want it, we can have your name be Gidget. Who am I echoing off of? I don't know. Try again. Speak. If you want, we can make you uh your name Gidget. I'll leave. Today is just a god awful day for Discord, isn't it? Uh, it's been a rough day. No, I think his headphones are too close to his mic and it keeps picking it up. Hopefully, this fixes it. Try it again. Testing. Testing. Yep. Nope. Yeah. What? I don't know why it's being an ass like this. Half the time, it's just the headphones being too close to the mic. I am quite the distance headphones. away. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, Gidget. You eat up and rest up now. Now the rest of you... I'm looking at the Dibbins. You be nice to him, okay? You hear yes, as you hear a few yes, ma'ams, and you hear one or two no promises. <laughs> Got some cruel kids in there. He's, he's for his new family now, so we need to look after him. By the way, Miss Opalis, could you do me a solid favor? Yeah. What is it? Well, I need to take care of these little ones. Could you look after these ones? And she hands you a basket. Okay. Are the baskets the newborns? Is yep, the, the triplets. Yep. Okay, you can count on me. As you take it in your hands, their little eyes open, they notice you. And you see all of them, like, give a big toothless smile. As they all, as they all three of them try to give you grabby hands. <laughs> they are all making little cooing sounds. <laughs> as we go very quickly from you to Vince. <laughs> oh yeah. Vince. Go bro, you, you got two guys talking to your female. I'll walk forward, but I'm not gonna be like completely rude. She looks like she's negotiating business. Well, whoever they were, they notice you and they quickly dart away into the um, high grass next to them. Hmm. Skittish sort, huh? She turns her head to you. She seems not happy, but you don't know with whom. You would have to give me an insight check for you to know. All right, let's find it. Sorry, give me a second. I'm getting on my card sheet. Insight. Okay, it's just on flower. She. Eh. Uh, not that good. Um, so you can't with your insight, you're trying to determine who she's angry with, but it could be either the people she was talking to or the fact that you just came up. I care to that. Sorry if I ruined some business. She gives out a very loud, very audible sigh. <sighs> and I was so close to, uh, unfortunately I was this close to negotiating a trade between some people that were willing to sell some product to me in order to get, get me in good with your sister. But unfortunately, they saw you and dipped on me before we could complete the transaction. Oh, huh. why so skittish though? Because they are not the nicest per people in the world. Eh. I d decided to send out word 
via some of my connections to get something special. Ah, well, again, I humbly apologize. Oh, no, no, heavens no. These cultists are notoriously skittish. Yes, they're not used to outsiders, I guess, or something like that? The cultists? Uh. They are, they know that they they prefer to do business on this side of the road, so they do not intrude upon the sanctuary, as they call it. She points to Redwall Abbey. Ah. They are the um, cult of the snake. They worship Asmodeus poison teeth. Man, that must be pretty dangerous if you think about it. Unless they willingly sacrifice themselves to him. Here has a face. I mean, they are... They're toads. Ah. And I was this close, this close to getting an item for your sister. That would have helped in your fight against Asmodeus. Oh. I was trying to get them to part with some scales from Asmodeus from when he shed. I hang my head a bit low and I just go, uh, my apologies again. Uh, no, it's no worries. I shouldn't have done it this close to Redwall Abbey anyway. But honestly, your sister really does not trust me. I had, I wanted to do, to do it in the sight of Redwall Abbey. That way, if anyone saw me doing the thing that way, I, you know, we complete the transaction. I can get it to people who can work on it and my trust can be gained. Again, I apologize about my sister. I had to actually sneak out just to get here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Well, can't really help it. Now, well, while I would love to talk longer, unfortunately, I have to send out another letter so that we can start negotiations again from scratch. All right, and but if, if you're wondering, I could probably get you get another way to get your, get my sister's approval. It involves my mother, so she has already wandered off. Uh, uh, all right, that bugger. She got away again. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Ghost. Let's go to you. All right. You're so, currently- yeah. Okay. So I'm heading into camp. Uh, let me think. Is Shadow around? Is there any way I could is, see Shadow around by any chance? Um, you actually do see Shadow, who is currently, um, who is currently teaching what you assume to be a protege about his stealth by having them literally coat themselves in mud and try to sneak past him with his eyes closed. And as soon as like it, like the rat tries to get past him, all of a sudden, like you just see ghost just whip out a bamboo shoot and whoosh, just right on the top of the head. Start over. <gasps> yes, sir. All right. So I shall approach, uh, shit, I forgot his name again. Uh, Shadow. Can I help you, ghost? So you know that we're supposed to be killing the tiger, right? He opens his eyes. When she decides to appear, yes. Any chance I can get some intel? Hmm. I am a great spy. I know many things. That's why I came to you. However, I'm not originally from Moss Flowerwood. I would suggest you find someone who is. I do not know of Mutikira and her habits. Or in your case... Her weaknesses. Very well. Any suggestions? Hmm. Normally, in this situation, I would have suggested someone in particular, but he died some time ago due to Cheese Thief betraying us. The old mouse. Well, that's just unfortunate. I would suggest you find someone who knows of his thing or has access to them. I hate to admit it, but that Methuselah, did they call him? He was wise, even wiser than me. Right. However, Hmm? I would hurry. Tonight is going to be a moonless night. That is when I typically smell her fur in the air. Right. Thanks. I guess I'll go look for that old mouse as I leave to go do that. Right. So you had... Oh, okay. uh, (laughs) Sorry. Sorry. (laughs) For some other reason, it decided to glitch out. My apologies. Okay, I was like, did I just get connect- disconnected or something? I was- no, I got distracted by a notification on Discord. My apologies. Where were we? <laughs> uh, I'm looking for the old mouse. Ah, okay. You head in. Um, well, the first person you'll notice who is currently looking all over for her brother, trying to find out where the fudge he went. I probably gave up half the way. I'll Angry just mouth. give him an earful later. 
Yep, very angry sh- female mouse. Ninja Vince. Ninja Vince. <laughs> I'll buy another hole in your ear. Can you hear me? It's <laughs> making angry squeak noises. Which I can understand. <laughs> Vince? Hush. <laughs> but she has no concern to me. I'm looking for an older mouse. Did, did he glitch out again? Or? No, you didn't say who you're talking to. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for that. <laughs> oh, I, I was still looking for the older mouse. It, he's dead. That's what we're wondering, who you're talking to. What, Methuselah is dead? Yeah, he's, we had we a funeral see, and everything. Yeah, oh, we said he, he was he dead. Intel? He said he was dead. He did? Yes. Yeah. Why the fuck are you telling me about him? He said, I don't know who took after him. Oh. And you're like, oh, I'm going to look for the old guy. He probably looked at you strange as you walked off. <laughs> so I thought someone else died. No, we do no. have a, another older dude, but he knows nothing. <laughs> Uh, One just behind him would be uh, my sister. Who was and I am searching for no reason. Uh, shit. Um, let's see here. In that case, let's just say that Ghost remembers that there was an old dead mouse not that long ago. And I shall begin to think about who could be the next best person to uh, get information from. And this head of security was a hare, correct? Basil Stag Hare. Yes. I shall look for the hare. Well, you do see him. He is currently uh, actually patrolling the hallways, making sure every um, window is shut and make sure no. Uh, You hear him say, any spiders over here? No, any spiders over here. Hey, bully good, what, what? I take a deep breath and prepare for myself for a long conversation. Oh, hello there, dear old boy. Hair. Did not get your name. Basil Staghair. At your service. Good, because I could use some information. It's really good, what what? Do you love some good old info, you know? The tiger, Murakira. How much do you know of it? Oh, we call her sword teeth in the long patrol, what what? Oh, she's a nasty little ticket. All we could hope to do was to... Hide from her whenever she was hunting, that's for sure, what, what? Can you think of anything unusual about her? Yes, he scratches his chin and he's like, You actually remind me of something. One day, she was hunting us. There were heavy clouds in the sky. Thunder sounded, and then she just simply went away, not killing a single one of us. Hmm. Wouldn't think a tiger that big would be scared of loud noises. Oh no, it didn't seem she was startled by it. It was, I don't know what it was. She's an intelligent creature, that one. She's a fan of the ambush technique, what what. She waits until a poor creature's all by itself and then she pounces. Hunter. Yep. If that is all you can think of, then thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what, um, speak to the little mouse, Sunflower. She might have a key to old Methuselah's library. Maybe you'll be able to find out what's in there. Methuselah was a scribe and a historian for the Mosfar Wood. What, what? If anyone knows about Mutihira, it is him. I nod as I turn around. I'm only guessing that the angry mouse is still being angry over there. Nope, she's... What was that? I don't know. That was my phone. That was my phone letting me know I had a text message. Oh, it's oh, it's hey guys, me. guess what? I f- I won, I won a sweepstakes that I never fucking entered and won five thousand dollars. Yeah, fucking rich! Yay! Oh, I had one almost like that, except for apparently I lost rich. luggage at the airport I never went to. <laughs> rich, you probably should go get that. Yeah, yeah no. I got one claim that somebody uh, opened the bank account in my name, so... Anyway, so, you head off... In search of the little mouse. Yep, you find her in no time at all. She seems very disgruntled. I'll let you play it off. All right. (sighs) I approach uh, Mouse Sunflower, say, hey, uh, little mouse. No, I haven't talked to the boy yet. This isn't about the boy this time. What is it? So news on the grapevine says that you may have some information from uh, that old mouse called Meth- Methuselah. Oh, yep. Yeah, I was pretty much a secondhand for history. Not many 
who actually listens to the whole story, but I, I did mostly. <laughs> By any chance that I can take a look? In his library? Well, uh, sure, but okay, that is a little bit messy. Vince, give me a stealth check. Pass, 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 pass. Was it bloody or was that? <laughs> that was me. Okay, I was just making sure. Yeah. It meets, I see you. No. Do I have advantage? Uh, Does your class say you have advantage? Okay, so to be fair, you you said sneaking by, you didn't specify where, so I'm going to take advantage of the situation and say out of the corner of her eye, since it was her passive and she was facing the correct way, since he was heading towards the cafeteria, he called to her, you turned and your passive perception would have seen him coming through the door and trying to sneak past. So I see him. Yes. Vince! Run! <laughs> I am chasing after him. Hey! Hey, mouse! Come back here! I immediately go to mother! <laughs> I begin to follow, because I can't get, the, can't get the information I need without the damn mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so... We'll come back to that momentarily. Rosie. Rosie. Oh, Paulus. Oh, man. Is You're it, still is she muted. Moved? Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I was, um, oh, what, what's up? Okay. So, um, we came back to you and, um, you're currently attending to the babies in the basket. What? Oh, nothing, I was just thanking someone. I'm here. Uh, um, you're currently tending to the babies, newborn babies in the basket. They're looking at you with fascinated eyes, trying to grab at you, making cooing noises. You know, typical baby stuff. Uh, during this whole debacle, I guess okay. you, like, did stuff that you would do for babies. Like, you, um gave them a heated up um thing of <laughs> badger milk yes at them which they are all nice and full and uh you can role play this how you want well i'm going to have a song so that they can sleep now that their bellies are full do i do i Four do minutes. i have to make it okay oh shit um, fingers crossed, guys. Is a policy good babysitter? Fifteen. Not yeah, bad. So you start humming a tune. Hey, you got a high ass performance. Yeah. And as you're singing this tune, trying your best to like put them to sleep, uh little Peach is just watching you watch the kids and as you're singing like as you finish the song she's like wow miss opalis that was a nice song thank you pete and abruptly you hear opa 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 three little squeaks come from the little basket i have some questions what one how's that fucking possible they're only two days old they hiccuped oh <laughs> it, but it does sound like your name. <laughs> you hear them going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, as as two of them are giggling, uh, uh, the one little girl in the group is not hiccuping, but she finds the other two boy, uh, 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 her other two brothers hiccuping hilarious, and she's currently giggling up a storm. <laughs> Okay, little Polly. I can already tell you guys are going to be a handful. You're going to be anything like your big sister, right? They stare at you blankly, but they eventually stop hiccuping. Gidget, do you want to have a look? He does not respond as you just see him in the bed, currently just sprawled out, fast asleep, twitching. <laughs> I, um, I gently place the basket down on my bed and I go to uh, cover him up. You go to what him up? Cover. Ah. You know, with blankets and shit because it's cold. Yep. You cover him up nice and snug. And he, like he, like you uh, um, you hear him like as you cover him up, you hear him go thank you, I love you mama and his sleep. 
Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna be um, waiting for Constance now. <laughs> Good thing your boyfriend's rich. Sounds like you're gonna have a lot of expenses. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that my boyfriend? Okay, lover. <laughs> I mean, you guys did kiss. It, it was it was an accident, though. Many times. That is true. He did get her on the forehead too. Yeah, but that was the forehead. That, that wasn't the, the. What an accident too. So as as you are covering him up and you like you you uh, like hold your like hand to your heart in a, like a sort of awe moment as he mumbles this in his sleep. You hear a very faint knock at the door. Well, I uh, open it slightly and peek out. Yes? Ahem. Oh, Clooney, you're back. Mm. I open up the door the door wider so he can come inside. He does not. And he's like, dinner tonight, my tent. And then he quickly goes down the the um, stairs. Uh, okay. You hear muffled screaming as you just hear Peach currently trying not to wake anyone up by screaming into the pillow with excitement. I pat her on the back to get all her to help her get all her screams out. She eventually screams herself into being asleep. I guess I tuck her in too, and I give her a little kiss on the forehead, and I uh, continue watching her siblings until Constant comes back. Because boy, do I have news for her! She eventually does. She comes up with like fresh towels and uh, cloth diapers, and she has fresh tunic on. Oh, hello there. Hey, hi, Con. Hi, Constance. Um. How was it with the other Dibbons? Well, relatively well. I was just taking care of some errands that I needed to perform before I came back here. <sighs> That's good. Um, well, Peach and Gidget is, are asleep. The babies have been very energetic, but hopefully they, they've calmed down. I look into the basket to see if they're sleeping yet. They are knocked out cold. Oh. I have already fed them, so uh, that that that's a thing. Um, 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 I have. You found the milk underneath the cabinet. Yep. Good. Um, I need to ask for advice, but I don't know how to ask it. Spiritual, physical, or um, love advice. Uh, I I, I think it's love advice. Okay. What what do you need to know? Okay. Well, um. I've been asked to eat, have dinner with Clooney, and I'm not sure if it's romantic. She grabs or you by. Uh, she grabs you by the tunic, carries you downstairs into a room that you didn't realize existed. <laughs> Was anyone else passing when this happened? Busts open the door. Nope. I'm pretty sure you saw the screaming. And then closes and it behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. She's in there with you. Oh. She was like, this is my own personal quarters. And she opens up a wardrobe. Now, let's get started. Oh, I, I, I don't, no, I'm not no. even sure if it's like, you know, a, a date. Too late. Um, okay, we're switching from you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're not doing that to you all of a sudden. Now, you always do that, though. Makes me think you have something else in store. <laughs> now, your fur is very light colored. So I would suggest something that accentuates your beauty. Now, I don't know why you would fall for someone like Clooney or go out with someone like Clooney, but it's a date nonetheless, and I always help. He produces a dress very reminiscent of the one from Tangled. Rapunzel's dress? Yes. Rio, you know what we gotta do now, right? I mean, technically I can draw it. Yeah. We, we gotta do it. <laughs> it's, it's in the code. <clears throat> and she also pulls out a different one. This one is almost blood red with sparkles. It really accentuates the curves. It's basically Jessica Rabbit's outfit. 
So are you looking just for a date, or are you looking for a date and a fun time? Go. Did I just scare her off? <laughs> Hello? Oh no. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to... Can, can you repeat that? Something happened. Uh, yeah. So are you looking for a normal date, or a date with a fun time afterwards? Um, like painting? Well, what do you mean by fun time? The birds and the bees, hun. Just a, a normal, casual dinner with a friend, potential lover. I, I, I don't. Then I'll go with this one, and she produces the Rapunzel-like dress. Why, why do you have these? What did you? Just, sorry, you uh, cut out. Like uh, upon uh, Apollos, uh, like looks at like the other one. It's like, why, why do you have these? Actually, this was left over by um someone who insisted they donate to Redwall. They're extra close. And well, this is one of the many dresses that she donated. Oh, okay. And these are specifically bunny sized dresses, so I can't fit in them. <laughs> You're amazing, Constance. I know. What? I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, it's a uh... Yeah. She starts dressing you while Disney music's being played in the background. <laughs> For the first time in for okay. <laughs> oh no. Beauty and the Beast. Ah, uh, that was more yeah, like frozen. No, I'm just ah. saying, like just the yep. situation. Yep. <laughs> Definitely Beauty and Beast esque, yeah. Okay. Well, as she is dressing you, Vince, you're currently running from your sister. I'm just like so far. She is a nice person. Once you actually get to get to know her, she is great, and she is actually very, very thoughtful. And I'm going, Mom. You come here. Nope. <laughs> Ghost is chasing behind. I guess. <laughs> As you get closer and closer to like the stairways that like, go up to the um, infirmary, you abruptly see a door open and you just see your mother stand there and go, I'll be you. You still see Vince running. Ingle, byline, stop right now, young man. You too, young lady. I jumped to tackle Vince. I dodge. Wouldn't you got stopped by mother, so you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah you but that doesn't mean I don't see it coming. <laughs> you were faced away from her, so. Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be like a grapple? Just a roll for a grapple? I yeah. don't know what to roll, but tell me. A uh, strength check. Oh, gosh. Why? Don't worry, Angry Mouse has no. big strength. No. For a grapple? No. 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 For no. you, it's, or you can use your athletics, technically, as well. And you could also, for me, I can use acrobatics or athletics. Either or. It, it, it doesn't matter. He just got to beat her eight. And he yeah. definitely does. Oh, he's just push. <laughs> I swear, if you two don't stop right now and she brings up her right paw. <laughs> now stand still, both of you. Standing still. The divins were just put down for the night. I'd rather not hear your rowdiness. What is the issue? Whisper, please. You see, Ben's kind of trying to catch his breath a little bit. Well, he's like, just, uh, uh, well, uh, I kind of snuck off to go see, uh, Winter and, and, uh, uh, did, and, God dang it. Sunflower, Rain, why you be stupid? Out of character. And Sunflower decided to attack me when I tried to sneak back in. He's messing with a vixen who has. He is a fox, theory. Yes, I know, but she's up to no good. Clearly, she doesn't know her boundaries. And what do you want? Mr. Uh, uh, I don't know your name. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, sorry, ghost. Listen, uh, do I know that that's her, her mother, right? Uh, it is very obvious by the way they are standing at attention that this mouse is their mother. Listen, ma'am, I just need your daughter. That's all. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Not in that way. Well, a poor old mouse can help. I mean, dear Lord, I'm still waiting on grandkids. Mom. I've been at home Hi. for several years. Me who? What do you need? Now, can I have your daughter's time? Sunflower, could you please help this young man? Vince, be careful, dear. 
I know you like her and she very much likes you back in a certain way, but be careful. I know, Mom. That's all? I give a small bow. And Vince goes, by the way, she's a lot more thoughtful than you think. I'll explain this to to you whenever Vince goes, I'll explain it to you when Sis is not around because she'll disagree a lot of things. Mm. Okay, so seeing that time is of the essence, Ghost is going to reach over towards the mouse and begin to drag her to the direction to the library. Excuse me. It's simple tap. What do? This is Ghost you're talking to. (laughs) I know. Patience is not a strong suit. (laughs) Eventually, uh, he, like, does take you to, um, Methuselah's old library. (sighs) You open up the doors, dust is collecting on some of the books. Oh, it's not that dusty. I've been here, like, a couple days ago. Really? You didn't mention that. Anyway. Yeah, that's where I found the other book. Oh, that was more than a couple of days ago, but okay. It, it wasn't that long, unless there was more days in my sleep that I didn't wake up to. Nah, it's just a very old abbey. Dust collects very quickly. Oh, okay. Not that many cleaners. Yep. Oh, uh, you go in, and I'll let you guys role play it. All right, so as I drag the mouse in and uh, turn to her saying, Okay, mouse, we're looking... For information about Motokura. We're in the wrong room then. I raise my eyebrow th- uh, saying, but this is the library. Didn't you say this is where all his work is? Yes, but that subject's a little touchy and the book I have of that was his diary, which I have in my room. Uh, Ghost rolls his eyes and just says, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Uh, but you didn't tell I me what you were searching yeah. for. There is a huge subject line, and she waves her hands at all the books. But you didn't tell me what you was looking for. <laughs> Seeing the point that the mouse has made, Ghost just says, fair enough. As he attempts to reach over and drag her to her room. Wait, I can't walk. <laughs> drag. As he continues to try to drag you everywhere, you do your best to like walk on your own back to your own room. Why do I sense a budding romance flare? He, he, he opens up it's the door. Mute. Mute. <laughs> yeah, you're not right, here. I'll let mute. Go the mouse and let her uh, collect the information. Uh, gosh. He crosses his arms. Don't you cross your arms at me. You're the one dragging me around. I could walk into my room just as fine as anybody else. Uh, Ghost just smiles. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> and she goes and gets the book that she probably hid like under her pillow or bed. Right. All right, all right. Let's see. Here, Kira. Kira. Yeah, I saw this the other day. Yeah, run in the, with her a couple of times. Ghost leans over her shoulder to see what she's reading. Okay, so allow me to give you an excerpt about what it says exactly. So I'm going to do this. Oh, six. Oh. Oh. Uh, just so you guys know what I just did out there watching. I just pulled them into secrets, so Rosie and Vince can't hear what I'm about to say. And Vince just... Having technical issues over there. (laughs) They think we left. Uh, bear right in general chat what happened, so they won't be freaking out because they can't see us. Yep, so, um, man, terrible ingress right there, Jesus. Hush! Anyway. (laughs) Okay, so what you are reading is, uh... Methuselah's personal diary entry about his research on Mutikira. It reads, at first it like describes the weather of the day, you know, like how the wind was, how the sun was peaking, you know, the birds chirping, you know, you know, general old people stuff, rambling on and on about um, things, how, how he feel old and stuff like that. It's like, Today, I've decided to research on Motihira, the bane that is currently infecting Marshflower Wood. It has been noticed multiple times that she ten- has the tendency to run whenever there are clouds up ahead. Whenever thunder sounds, she tends to flee. I endeavor to find out what is going on here. The journal entry continues on. Fortune favors me. I found a bit of Mutikira's fur. Doing experiments on it right now. 
I've taken a pupil underneath my wing. I hope I can teach her enough. You flip the page, and the rest of the pages are blank. But you do see, in the book, there is a bit of Mutikira's fur inside of the book itself. Yep, you guys can go back to normal place. End, end of story time. Yep. So, well, I'm gonna move. Anyway. So, there you have it. Hmm. By the way, uh, what we mentioned, try to not mention what I mentioned to you. Uh, if you want to discuss it with each other, please use other voice chats whenever the other two are not present. Oh, yeah. Oh, so if we want to talk about this, we're going to have to do it, like, privately? Yep. Do you want to discuss about it, or...? Well, I don't know what you're going to talk about. What's inside the book? Oh, uh, bloody would you knock us both back over, then? Yeah, absolutely. Let me give. Yeah, no worries. I can roleplay with these with... Oh, idiot one and beauty number two. Why am I idiot I'm one? Not idiot. Um, I hope nobody else wants to watch that. Oh well. There you go. So, uh, so Ghost uh, leans back and ponders to himself that uh, he seems to see a, a running theme about the tiger running away during a uh, possible storm. A mouse. Sunflower. <laughs> Do you know who this, uh, apprentice is? She lets out a long sigh and then looks at you. I wonder who will have his book. Uh, Ghost puts two and two together and nods. Did he say anything else before he died? Uh, not particularly, no. We was having other troubles at the moment. I mean, we're... <sighs> she, she never went over Revel until recently, so we didn't really worry too much about it until now. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't help that her hunting grounds are getting smaller due to the other spiders and snake becoming more aggressive, so yeah. Ghost nods and looks over towards the uh, the empty pages with only the fur in it. What's so significant about the fur? I mean, a lot of things could be told by fur. I mean, especially if they don't wash. Yeah, yeah. Try to study my brother's fur. It's quite interesting. But, um, um, but depending on the fur... You can actually find out if it actually conducts electricity, where they bid. You can actually track where their den is based on the soil samples and so on and so forth. Goes kind of just raises a brow and takes your word for it. He's not a scientist. Uh, you know how to track footprints, right? I've done it before. Uh, think of that way with fur. Depending on what brushes against the fur, you can find out what area that person has been in and also depending on the coat you know how one gets the shivers from a storm he nods it, depending on the fur it might make it worse for a person and since mercury is a uh let's see it's a good word for it or besides a predator uh stalker no it's not quite right a ambush predator that's it having half of your senses locked due to storm makes it very hard to sneak up on prey and not be seen yourself. So if I understand you correctly, Mouse, you're saying with this fur, we can find out his weakness. I mean, her weakness, sorry. In a sense, yes. Uh-oh, we lost someone. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, so he nods and looks at the fur and then asks, so did you find any? I wasn't working on the fur. He was at the moment. The reason why it was in his diet. At the moment, I was in the woods with my brother, hunting down some other tracks, a different creature. Ghost nods and reaches over to grab the, uh, the patch of fur. Well, I'm no scientist. As he looks around, do you have a candle in your in your room? Uh, probably, yes. Okay. So he looks around but and sees the candle and says, But well, there is one thing I could try. As he puts the fur over the fire. Uh, don't, 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 don't. And we wait. You're going to burn the fur? So, you know where this came from, right? Nope. Okay, so I'll, I'll be honest with you. Burning it won't do anything. You are 100% sure that's bloody uh, safe. If I, re if I recall the anime that this is from, there's technically only one weakness. Well, we don't technically know until we get bloody's okay for that. Okay, so let's let's have him and let's call him over. I'll, I guess I'll call him over. Yes, Rosie must have one steamy day. All right, so uh, if he, yeah, if he's kind of like busy, what did, what did he say? You didn't say who to come over. Oh, I'm, I'm about to just look up the anime and get the information there. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't do everything by the anime. 
Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. There was a date going on. Yeah, I, I assumed as much. That's why I was kind of like, uh, because if I recall in the anime, like there was only one weakness. They they tried everything else. Yeah, but this is a different world besides that anime, so I don't know. What? What do you want? Okay, so if I recall the anime, um, the tiger technically only has one weakness, right? Yes, only one weakness. But that is, according to the anime, any other character would not know that. Yeah, I know. So right now, um, he's trying to burn so the fur. With I'm, the I'm putting, I, we haven't tested out this fur at all, and right. since you know, Ghost is a a basic man, he's gonna see a fire can be a weakness as he puts it over the candle. The fur does not seem to burn. Oh dear lord! Yeah, I, yeah that's why. Scare I me like that. So I held. It, um, it becomes a little bit more shiny after leaving the. Uh, okay, you can you can go back and continue on with their date. Oh no worries. I would rather like everyone hear what's going on. So. I'll oh wait. okay. All right. Yeah, so sorry. So after you know, uh, Ghost puts the fur on uh, above the fire for a couple of moments. He brings it back and notices that the fur is still in one piece. You could have yep. destroyed the only thing we had. Ghost just looks over and just shrugs. At least oh we now know gosh. fire doesn't do anything. Uh, there are simpler ways to do things besides trying to destroy things. Oh, so what's your idea, little mouse? But clearly, we have to take the circumstance that it was a stormy day, meaning lightning, rain, and other conditions. I doubt fire was one of them. Well, I can't exactly produce lightning. And I don't think you can either, unless well, you're some special apparently you never got shocked by your brother. Ghost raises an eyebrow in question. Okay, when somebody becomes super clean and they roll around in a blanket... I hate to break it to you, but for that to happen, <laughs> certain fabrics need to exist in this world, which fucking don't. Really? So static electricity doesn't exist in this world. You, it can happen with any fabric. Yeah, human fabrics. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Sheet fur and everything. Ah. It doesn't, doesn't work very well with cloth. And... Yeah, it doesn't work well with leaf and like Exactly texture. my ah. point. So uh, let's rewind a little bit and say, yeah, I cannot produce lightning. And I don't think you can too, unless yeah. you're a magician. Not on top of my head, no. I mean, I know it lightning strikes metal objects and trees lots of trees all right uh well that's about it oh yeah i mean any and point. all that's left is water by it the way guys i was talking about you guys talking like out of the campaign <laughs> there's things that need to be done here <laughs> yes sir. oh okay yeah. let's go back and talk to this afterwards got it yep yep okay sorry no worries my apologies welcome back Okay. So, you guys missed the date. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm you going to restart this well. whole shindig. Oh. <laughs> so, to re-describe, since uh, the recorder of this session wasn't able to record this, I can hear myself in the Rosies. Sorry. No worries. Um, uh, t uh, Opalis was shoved out the door by Constance and saying, All right, young lady, good luck. Vince. Say what you said before. Well, she first said uh, something to me, then I said I something back. Yes, replay that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's just a, a, a date please. or, you know, just a dinner with a friend. Oh, uh, I, I, I walk up to her and I gently whisper in her ear, It's a date, hon. Have fun. And I give her a thumbs up and walk away. <laughs> I'm going to shrink down and to just like bashfully walk to um, Clooney's tent, trying to not draw any attention to myself. Well, unfortunately, you kind of are, but give me a stealth check. Shit. With disadvantage. Oh. Shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna trip and there's gonna be like sh mud on my face. No, no, more like uh, it's more stealth. Like you're trying to hide yourself as best you can, but while being careful. Can she pull off a Cinderella? Uh, more like Rapunzel. She has flowers in her ears, like where her fur is, and like a very simple dress that Rapunzel has, you know? My character sheet's not working. Give me a sec. 
Her black. Uh, she has blackberry mascara over her eyes. And Constance went all out on her. Yep. Uh, she she, she did originally have strawberry lipstick, but Opalis had already licked that off like five times. <laughs> now that's when you got to find something else that's red that it works. So she went with cherry. <laughs> so stealth, right? Uh, yep, stealth. Did I do it? No, nope, not yet. Up oh, there it is. Ooh. With disadvantage, so it's oh, ten. Not that bad. So it's not that it's bad. It's not a total flop. You're you're trying your best to like shrink down and not be noticed by anyone, but people are still like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh look at her. Wonder who who the lucky bunny is. You eventually find yourself in Clooney's camp. Luckily, none of his men have noticed you, and you find him yourself at his tent. Clooney, I'm, I'm here. Please enter. I, I I move the flap and walk inside. Sorry, you have to put up with this again. <laughs> so, as you enter, uh, his normal war table has been cleared off of all mention of war, and it has been replaced by a pure silk um, tablecloth with lavender scented candles, two covered plates made of pure silver. As um, you don't see him at first, but you see his shadow like behind one of those folding doors and you see him come out, him struggling with his suit as he like tidies him, himself up. You see him in a official blue naval suit with a white frock coming out of the front, blue tassels on each sh sh shoulder, embellished with um, uh, gold. You see that his normal eye patch has been replaced with something a lot more fancy, something with uh, uh, what looks to be purple embellishments. You see that he is also wearing an official officer's sword. As he like slowly makes his way around the table, he gently holds out his right paw and waits. I take his paw. He gently closes his paw over yours and leads you over to the table, guiding you, pulling out your chair, setting you down and pushing you back in, going over to his side and taking his seat. Um, you uh, abruptly hear a voice um, um, belonging to um, Shadow going, Dinner is served. And you just see the tops of this being pulled back and the steam comes off of it. Don't ruin it, Vince. Uh, uh, you see on your plate is your first, um, first course meal, which is a sort of, you've never seen this dish before in your life, actually. It is sort of a floppy kind of white thing covered in sort of, sort of white sauce with broccoli and it's very foreign to you. You see Clooney take his fork, twist the little floppy white things and eat it. <coughs> I, yeah. I, I, I I follow I follow suit. <laughs> it is very fucking delicious. It is indeed Alfredo. Because in fact all the ingredients for Alfredo exist in this world. And on top of it, Clooney's home hometown was the main place to get pasta. Clooney lives in Italy. Basically, yeah. <laughs> it had a lot of vineyards too. Anyway. No wonder he got you so easily. <laughs> um, um Is it not to your liking? It's amazing. <laughs> God damn you, Justin! <laughs> what? <laughs> As you completely finish off your plate, because it is amazing, it is quickly replaced as you blink your eyes with another plating as you see the um, lid comes off and you see quite the other reference that I'm adding to this, though it won't have any meat. So don't get too excited. It will be an interesting conversation, though. Mm. This is my mother's famous recipe. I decided to minus the meat part in yours. 
and you see a very stew-like substance in front of you. Bonzabi stew. <laughs> and yes, it is amazing. Delightfully tangy, yet robust. I was, I was going to make that reference, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> She's a bun bun, I highly doubt it. Hmm. Uh, would old Paulus eat meat? Like, maybe she'll do it out of, like, respect? <laughs> I mean, yeah. rabbits are omnivorous when under a great deal of stress, so I wouldn't put it past her. She's, yeah. She, she's a nervous wreck right now, trying not to collapse in on herself. You finish off the next one, and then the next plate enters your end for the final dish. The boss went to a lot of trouble for this one. As the lid comes off, Clooney doesn't have anything on his side, but your side has what is commonly known as a quadruple threat. It is a strawberry cake topped with strawberries, strawberry icing filled with strawberries. I think you forgot some strawberries there. No, it's topped with strawberries, with strawberry cake, and strawberry icing, and baked in with strawberries. Quadruple threat, four. Yeah, that's why he went in through a lot of fucking trouble for it. <laughs> Boss gets what Bots wants. <laughs> and you are eating your feelings. He's, you see him rubbing the back of his neck and sort of a nervous tick very slowly. He's like, look, I know I've been awkward since it happened. I wanted to apologize properly. Uh, uh, what? I, I wipe my mouth after like eating. Yep. Um, why, why would you apologize? I didn't mean for that kiss to happen. It's, it's okay for me. <laughs> I okay. didn't really, I didn't really m mind it. He he doesn't seem to hear you. He's like, however, I don't regret it. So if you don't mind, that is, could we do this date again? And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. <laughs> <laughs>